Do 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 do. Posturus. I want to give a hand for Posturus. I'm really proud of this uh, Web 2.0 company making this uh, really easy blog kind of platform, uh, making files easy to submit and post. Kudos to them. Let me show you guys how we're gonna be actually using Posturus this year. You're probably probably gonna use it every day, so ready to get ready for it. Uh, first of all, you're gonna sign up for an account. Uh, when you sign up for an account. Just go to uh, posturus.com and you can sign up for an account. Use your class ID as your posturus name and your email address from your class email and sign up for an account. Now let me tell you what the beauty of posturus is. And you may ask, what is a posturus? Well, a posturus is basically like a blog. Uh, I'll show you one of my students, okay? So this is uh, Christine's and you basically can post uh, different files to uh, your blog type platform and it easily shows uh, the content. Now you may ask, how did you get this content up here? Okay, well, that's the beauty of it. All you have to do is go into your email. Okay, and a lot of times we don't like, or I don't like to blog because I don't like to log into another account and edit and add and all that stuff. But if I could tell you, you could blog straight from Gmail, you'd be like, okay, I can handle that. So all you do is hit compose email. Okay, and then two, and who do you uh, post it to? Well, there's different options. Okay, now. Uh, the thing about uh, posturus, uh, some people call it posturus, but I don't think that's grammatically right. So I call it posturus. Um, we can link our posturus account to other accounts. So for example, if we post something to posturus, we can also we can automatically allow it to take that same article that we post on posturus and post it to another place. Okay, and these are the different places that it uh, places it to. Now, in our case, what I want you guys to do is you have a Twitter account. I want you to click on Twitter, and then I want you to like grant access and allow it to automatically do it on Twitter. Okay. Uh, I also want you to choose, or was it Picasa? Okay, automatically do it for Picasa as well. So those two, uh, Picasa and Twitter. Now. What, you, what happens is, let's say you, all you have to do is send an email to posturus at posturus.com. And it, when you do that, it automatically sends it to posturus, it, it displays it, and it also sends a link to Twitter and any images it saves into your Picasa. Now, let's say you only want to send images to Picasa. Well, that's simple. You just send it to picasa at posturus.com. Let's say if you only want to do Twitter, okay? If you go Twitter at posturus.com, it'll only show at Twitter. It won't show up in posturus at all. It'll only go to your Twitter. So it's an easy way to tweet from your email as well. So let's say I just wanted to do a tweet. I would do Twitter at posturus.com, and then you put your subject, and your subject is basically what you're tweeting, okay? So I'll be like, uh, happy today summer is here okay so that's basically what would show up in my Twitter now you may ask how does uh, posturus know what I'm what to post well when you sign up with your email you're, you're gonna send that that same email you're gonna send that account email to uh, posturus so for example if I mouse flip at gmail.com and I, that's my username or signed up for in Posturus. If it receives email from mouseup at gmail.com, it's going to be like, hey, he signed up for this uh, blog. I'm going to post that to the this Posturus. But it, if it receives an uh, email from like the grunge at gmail.com, it's like, hey, we don't have any accounts for them, so it's not going to post. So you want to make sure you have your email right. You can also set up multiple emails, so if you, you can switch. And uh, if, for example, if you change emails or if you use a personal email, you can send from that one as well in the settings. Now, um, what you're gonna do is put in a tag. So the tag, um, let me show you guys what tags are. And tags are something like this, okay? So let's say, th these are some images, and then you can notice, you can go through the images. 
but this whole article is tagged as Photoshop and CD. Okay, so if I click on CD, okay, it shows me all of the tags that were tagged CD. Okay, so if I wanted to do that back here in Gmail, I would under my tag, now it's two parentheses, make sure you get that right. I'll put tag colon and then I can put in uh, CD. Okay, and then double parentheses again. And then you can send it. If I want to do two, you just do comma and then I could put Photoshop. Now you may ask, what tag should I use? Well, for this purpose, or um, for these directions, I want you to, under posturous, I want you to use these, like blog, or tutorial, tut AI, or tut PS, or project PC, or bonus, or zoo, etc. Use those, or you can vary it a little bit, but make sure you're smart. So uh, Joshua, he did a pretty good job in his organization, okay, of his tags. I see some students where there's like 20 of them. So you want to make sure that you tag smart. Don't tag like little, little things that like homework for May. Like that has no uh, merit to it. You want to do general uh, topics and make sure you organize them. And let's say you tweeted uh, the wrong thing or you tagged the wrong thing, okay? Well, if you're logged in, if you notice, uh, if I hover over the title, you can edit it, you can delete it, or you can tag it. And then I can add more tags and organize it better. Okay, so that's a little bit thing about tagging. So back in my email, okay, that's how I can do my tags. And then I will send it. Now if I didn't want to do it to just Twitter, I wanted to do it to everything, I would do it to post at posturist.com. And generally this is what you always do, is just post at posturist.com. Now, in the body of your email, I want you to, uh, unless I have directions of what to put in the body, but at the end of the uh, text in your body, I want to put you to put the minutes that you spent on this assignment. Now, I don't want you to put like, don't include minutes that maybe you went to the bathroom or minutes that you were chatting or minutes that you were, you know, like surfing the web or maybe you're trying to change different styles and you're looking for different things. Uh, ideas that you could have for your um, assignment. I mean, don't include that. Only include quality minutes that are actually working specifically on the assignment, okay? Make sure that's really clear. Because if I see that you have a lot of minutes and you're not using your time efficiently, then I'm really gonna investigate why and maybe have you record uh, certain things and make sure that you're doing it efficiently. I'm really impressed with students who do it quickly and efficient and it looks good. So try to go for that. And when you do your minutes, let's say you spent like 25 minutes. So there it is, just like that, 25 MII. Okay, and then you can just send it. Remember, that's post at posturist.com or if you have a specific website, like you only want it to your Twitter, then it's Twitter at posturist.com. And then, boom, oh, and then the best thing is the attachments, okay? So if we click attachments and we click an attachment, we can uh, post various uh, types of media on our website. For example, you saw uh, the pictures. So if you post uh, multiple pictures okay, as attachments, or if you have a zip file or a compressed file with a bunch of files inside that zip file, then you can do it that way. If you're asking what is a zip file, uh, that's easy. Let's say you have a couple of pictures, like here's one, here's one, and here's two. Okay. All you have to do is highlight those pictures and then right click or control click and hit compress for items. On a PC, that will say zip files. Okay. And you'll just do that. And then it's finished right here. Here's our zip file. And then you, you'll just attach that to the email. And then it'll automatically unzip and it'll look like this with our pictures.